If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. You got to see this. So stick around and listen. And even, even if you're going to roll your eyes and get mad about it because it's unbelievable. I've talked about how the FBI and the CIA are talking about, uh, you know, anybody who talks about conspiracies becoming, you know, a threat, a national threat and being labeled as terrorists. Well, get a load of this article that just came out. I'm going to read you the, from the Los Angeles Times. But the U.S. is unleashing its military to fight fake news and disinformation. So you would think the military had more important things to worry about. I mean, we know that the military has tons of operations. They're they're really behind a lot of the trolling that goes on on the Internet to try to combat people's, you know, anything that's a conspiracy. They send in their troll bots and all that stuff. But this is unbelievable. And people who whether they care or not about channels like mine or any of you who have channels out there, you really think the military, that we're such a threat that the military now needs to be involved? So we have the FBI, we have the CIA obviously spying. Now we have the military considering us threats. Most of us don't even own guns, okay? So how are threats in any way, shape, or form is beyond me uh, because of our mouths. What are you going to do, cut our tongues out? Throw us in jail because we question an event on the news? Like I talked about that story where the cop... Because supposedly got shot by a sniper, right? And then it found, and then they came out and said, "Oh, it was fake. They made it up." All the cops were obviously in on it. You don't hear the mainstream media saying, "Well, you know, th- well, how did this happen? Why was it covered by you know ABC News if it wasn't real? And why would it not be okay for us to question things if they're going to come out with stories and then say, "Oops, sorry, we made it up." It's ridiculous. Fake news and social media posts are such a threat to U.S. security that the Defense Department is launching a project to repel, quote, large-scale automated disinformation attacks as the top Republican in Congress blocks efforts to protect the integrity of elections. Huh? Well, and hopefully, I mean, that shouldn't include someone like me because elections aren't real. They're not real. They're selections. And the only people who are, you know, doing the Q stuff and talking about elections being real are the alt-right phonies who are being paid and are already military agents. Quote, a decade ago, today's state-of-the-art would have registered as sci-fi. That's how fast the improvements have come, said Andrew Grotto at the Center for International Security at Stanford. There's no reason to think the pace of innovation will slow anytime soon. U.S. officials have been working on plans to prevent outside hackers from flooding social channels with false information ahead of the 2020 election. So you could certainly expect there's going to be a ton of false, false events that come out like the WikiLeaks stuff and everybody's going to jump on it. And then they're going to come out with some story and say it affected the results. Trump will probably win again as a result. You know what I mean? You you already know that they've got their plan in place. They've already had their Bilderberg meetings. They, They decide this stuff years and years in advance. And, you know, somebody asked me the other day, they're like, who do you think is going to win? I have no idea. No idea. Last time I thought that Obama was staying a third term, I thought something might happen and he'd stay in. So me guessing on these things is probably not a good idea. But the Trump thing obviously makes perfect sense having him there. And just imagine if he stays in, how much more chaotic all of this will get, right? How much more violence will ensue between the left and the right? There'll be riots, you know, that night. And you could just see the fake stories that come out of it. They'll be hiring, uh, <laughs> like that website, they'll be hiring, you know, protest crowds to show up in certain places. I mean, it'll be a mess. Now, do I know that's the plan? No, because it could work either way where that happens. But you could just you could just smell it because that's the narrative is about the election and fake news. Uh, you know, even though people like me who keep getting censored, we're not even talking about the elections like they're real because they aren't. They said um, U.S. officials have been working on plans to prevent outside hackers, like I said earlier, because the election, the drive has been hindered by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's 
Refusal to consider election security legislation. Give me a break. This is so fake. Critics have labeled him Moscow Mitch. Who cares? It's all fake stuff. The stuff with these, all of these politicians. These are your new actors, folks. President Trump has repeatedly rejected allegations that dubious content on platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Google aided his election when Hillary Clinton supporters claimed a flood of fake items may have helped sway the results. Quote, the risk factor is social media being abused and used to influence the elections. I mean, this is hilarious. This is they're convincing these idiots out there that somebody else's opinion or, you know, if they come out with a story like Pizzagate is persuading people are persuading people into voting one way or the other. Meanwhile, they know that your vote doesn't count. So this is they're just using this as a division tactic. I mean, social media being used to influence the elections. This is another way that they're going to have, they're going to be able to censor what people talk about because people out there are going to get pissed because they literally think they're part of a party. I'm a, I'm a Democrat. I'm, I'm friends with Hillary Clinton. We know each other because I'm a Democrat. And I have her shirt on. They don't know you and they don't give a crap about you on either side. The only thing they care about is having you dead, depopulating and vaccinating your kids and vaccinating you and dumping chemicals and weed killer in your food. That's all they care about. Getting rid of you. Divide and conquer. Order out of chaos. They say, quote, it's really interesting that DARPA is trying to create these detection systems, but good luck. This is what I say. It won't be anywhere near perfect until there's a legislative oversight. There's a huge gap, and that's a concern. False news stories and so-called deep fakes are increasingly sophisticated and making it more difficult for data-driven software to spot. Artificial intelligence imagery has advanced in recent years and is now used in Hollywood, the fashion industry, and facial recognition systems. Yeah, it's pretty frightening. Researchers have shown that these so-called generative adversarial networks or GANs, can be used to create fake videos. Well, I'm sure that's what we're going to see, right? They'll probably use Biden or one of those guys and do a fake video. Look, Biden touched a girl, you know, and then find out it was a deep fake. I mean, you know that they have all this stuff planned, and they're going to rile everybody up. Meanwhile, if everybody would just get out of the left-right paradigm, this left-right trap, they'd see that these people are just manipulators, and they're just herding people like cattle. Just like, like I always say, you know, about animals in nature, right? Hunters know how to, you know, lead these animals to a certain spot because they know their behaviors. They know, uh, you know, what they eat and what controls them, what hours of the day they sleep, what they're into, what their habits are, right? From lions all the way down. We see all these shows on TV with the behavior of animals. Well, that's what they do with us, right? They studied the human brain for all these years, many, many decades ago. They know how to persuade people, manipulate people, and herd them the way they want. And that's what they do. And that's all that this stuff is with the left and right and this illusion of choice. It says in June, Zuckerberg said Facebook made an, exec, uh, an execution mistake when it didn't act fast enough to identify a doctored video of Nancy Pelosi in which her speech was slurred and distorted. There are things getting especially scary in the prospect of malicious actors combining different forms of fake content in a seamless platform. Researchers can already produce convincing fake videos, generate uh, persuasively realistic text, and deploy chatbots to interact with people. Imagine the potential persuasive impact on vulnerable people that integrating these technologies could have. An interactive deep fake of an influential, influential person engaged in AI-directed propaganda on a bot to a personal basis, or to a, on a bot to person basis, excuse me. By increasing the number of algorithm checks, the military research agency hopes it can spot fake news with malicious intent before it goes viral. I mean, this is, this is a joke because they're going to make one of these, these deep fake things viral. They're going to say it's because of people like me, right? None of us can get anything viral anymore. Go look at all my videos from two, three years ago. They would get hundreds of thousands of views. You know, I still get, you know, probably from 25 to 50,000 views a video, which is really good. And I'm appreciative of that, but nothing's going viral. I have videos that should be viral videos about cannibalism, videos about, you know, weather manipulation. They aren't letting anything go viral. They won't even let a video on Katy Perry or Taylor Swift go viral like they used to. If it has any information about in there about agendas and LGBT or any of that stuff. So they're full of it. Whatever ends up going viral when all this stuff happens to the election and them saying, oh, it's a deep fake and we have to censor more is because they let it go viral, completely let it go viral. 
They said the algorithm testing process will include the ability to scan and evaluate 250,000 news articles and 250,000 social media posts with 5,000 fake items in the mix. The program has three phases over 48 months, initially covering news and social media before an analysis begins of technical propaganda. The project will also include week-long hackathons. So this is what your this is what your military is up to. Instead of, you know, fighting, quote unquote, the war on terror, which doesn't exist either. Aren't people suspicious that like we're becoming that big of a threat? So they just be like, all right, listen, these guys are idiots. They're nut jobs. Da, 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 da. Now the military is involved. People don't think the military should be up to, you know, doing something more important. Instead, you know, obviously they're just sitting around spying on us. Now they're censoring people's free speech because they deem deem fake news hurtful and hateful. And also it um, persuades the election. Know what persuades the election? Uh, The people who choose who's going to be the president at the Bilderberg meetings and Bohemian Grove. And then you know what persuades the idiots out there to think that their vote counts? The influencers, the celebrities, CNN, NBC, Fox News, all of this distraction, which is faker than anything you'll see on WWF television, okay? Total joke. So now we have the military coming after us because we're such a threat. You'd think that would wake people up to say, hmm, why are they so bothered by people like a call for an uprising? I wonder. I wonder. I'd like to ask those of you who haven't subscribed to my website, please check it out, callforanuprising.com. It's $2.99 a month. If you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe. It's not personal. A lot of ways for you to interact with other people. There's exclusive videos over there. Podcasts are coming. Uh, there's live chats, 24 hours. The forums are really great where people interact with each other and direct messages is also available. So check it out if you have it. I want to thank everyone who's a patron. You're the ones who keep my YouTube channel alive and going. Uh, so thank you so much. I appreciate all of you greatly. Please be safe out there. Take care of your loved ones. God bless you and your families.